President Trump today imposing new tariffs, $50 billion of Chinese goods to uh, be under those tariffs. The president vowing to slash our nation's multi-billion dollar trade deficit with China, all while protecting the American worker. The trade war was started many years ago by them and the United States lost. So okay. you're saying we're on the There's losing no trade end war. of it? Well, no, there is no trade war. They've taken so much. So last year, $375 billion in trade deficit. We had a 300 with China. We had overall over $800 billion over a period of years. Each year, close to $800 billion in losses on mm -hmm. trade. Not going to happen anymore. Right. It's not going to happen. President Trump, the only national leader on the face of the globe who is calling for balanced international trade. It used to be the stuff of esoteric discussions uh, amongst academics uh, and a few people who work for uh, non-government uh, organizations. Uh, joining us now, our special guest tonight, Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross at the forefront of the president's uh, trade policies. It's uh, great to see you. Thanks Good for being Good to see you, Lou. Uh, $50 billion of goods will be subject to those tariffs. Uh, effective uh, July 6th. Yes, uh, the July. The, and, and, and the national political press, not necessarily the business press, but much of the business press, they're cackling, they're, they're uh, wringing their hands, they're wailing about a trade war. We just heard the president say, <laughs> and he's, by the way, the first person to say it out loud uh, some time ago, we've already lost the trade war. Well, we're regaining territory very rapidly. These same people had hand-wringing when we put the tariffs on washing machines. They had the same hand-wringing when we put the tariffs on solar panels. They had the same hand-wringing when we put it on steel and aluminum. And guess what? Factories are growing up in the U.S. making those products. The sky hasn't flown. It hasn't fallen. In fact, the Federal Reserve is projecting for this quarter a growth, economic growth. Listen to this. 4.8% GDP growth for the quarter. Right. That's extraordinary. Oh, it's, it's amazing. Well, remember, the Democrats were saying 1.5%, oh, yes, maybe 2%. The it new normal, the they styled it yeah, under Obama. I, I used to call it the new miserable. But yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, so this is, uh, this is exciting stuff because uh, the business press gets to uh, uh, hold forth on trade wars and retaliation. In fact, we're talking about a minuscule percentage of international trade that will be involved in these tariffs sure. thus far. And the trade relationships themselves don't amount to an overwhelming uh, segment of GDP for most countries. No. In fact, our total exports to China are only about $150 billion. That's under 1% right. of our GDP. We'd like to change that in a hurry. Oh, yeah, we? we're going to change it. We're going to change it. Well, we're not going to change it, are we, to making us look further like an agrarian nation that's a third world country. No. Uh, I mean, our leading products, uh, soybeans, waste uh, material. I, I mean, when you look at what we're exporting, it, it, and you just wonder who is the advanced nation here. Is it the United States or is it China? Oh, no, it's very much the U.S., because of the $150 billion that we export to China, about $20 billion is agricultural products. Right. So it much is, of that soybeans. But. Yeah, a lot of that is soybeans. But what we're targeting here is high-tech. We've had an increasing deficit in high-tech trade with China year after year for many, many years now, using materials stolen from the U.S. You know, I, I can't help but think. Uh, you have been out front talking to the press, explaining, uh, is, you know, I think in terrific terms, the president, with this great access he has directly to the American people. I, I was trying to think of any other president who could have functioned with this, explaining what's happening with trade, uh, because it does get complicated, at the margin at least, and, and Americans are not used to having to deal with it. But balancing trade is critically important. Uh, most Americans, I believe, I don't even believe the people in, in my craft, or if, right. what used to be a craft, journalism, <laughs> uh, comprehend that trade deficits cut into economic growth. Our GDP is reduced as a result of running those trade deficits. The national savings rate is reduced Absolutely. as well. Uh, and that 
all that relationship and the, that importance. Gary Cohn, by the way, was quoted the other day in one uh, elegant uh, business uh, outlet, a business news outlet. He's saying trade deficits don't matter. He's talking the same nonsense of yesteryear that allowed us to trade mindlessly, as the right. president has put it, uh, with dumb government, not acknowledging the truth, which is they do matter. Well, trade deficits only don't matter if you don't have them. Right, exactly. We have a trade deficit, and it does matter. Absolutely. And uh, Wilbur Ross is uh, working hard for the president and for the American people to make sure uh, that we do uh, capture that balanced and reciprocal trade the president is insisting on, uh, much to the delight uh, of uh, Theresa May, Angela Merkel, the European <laughs> Union, uh, and, of course, China. Well, but they, they've joined us, you know, the uh, J Japan and the EU joined us in right. a couple of trilateral statements on this very topic of intellectual property and technology. Well, they ought to, and the Chinese too, except, oh, that's right, they're stealing about $600 billion worth of intellectual property a year, in addition to that $350 billion right. deficit, uh, and we, the espionage that's being carried out here, we won't even get into very quickly. The, uh, the NAFTA uh, discussions at a, at least a t pause, if not an end, uh, your, pro your sense of the prospects. Well, there's a pause because you have the Mexican elections coming up around the 8th of July. Right. It's too close to that election for much... Manuel time. Lopez Obrador is going to have a... Well, it looks as though he will probably win, but whether he wins or he doesn't, they still need the U.S. They still need to make a deal with us. You mean you? they should be grown-ups? Actually take responsibility for their borders <laughs> and balance trade? Wouldn't that be nice? Well, it would be, but if they need a little... I didn't even little, mention illegal immigration. If they need a little encouragement, the president's going to give it to them. I've noticed him cheering them on, as well as uh, his friend uh, Justin Trudeau. <laughs> it seems like the message uh, is being received. And well, thank you very much. And, and Wilbur, thanks so much for being with us. We great, appreciate Lou. It. Nice to be on again. It's terrific to have you here. Thanks so much, and thanks for all you're doing. Thank you.